small instances in one's life shape what you are today. I remember once being a boy of seven. I go to a huge factory every morning to work till three. They're used to the factory, but for me it is overwhelming to be surrounded by others who aren't interested in the new guy. I remember once being locked up by them, screaming at the thought of missing the bus back home, having to spend the night in the horrible factory. The factory is a place for brainwashing. I do what anyone in my situation would do, try to fit in. Before I know it, I am who sits alone on the large bench of the middle row for a whole year. I am too afraid to talk to anyone and have no confidence. Then one day I decided to impress everyone by getting an A plus on the English paper. I am very excited and do happen to know the test paper very well. Having revised the question with my mother's help, I had finished answering soon after the exam had begun. This is where the memory gets blurry. I look up to see the woman utterly pissed. She thought I had cheated or was it that I was too much sooner. I remember being horrified but one can only obey orders in the factory. I cry while doing the paper again. I try and I try but the words that have dried up. I failed myself on that day and felt utterly useless. I cannot recollect what happened after but I do remember the incident. It is hard. Such instances have a deep impact on what you are today, the way you speak and the way you behave. It all comes down to these moments in one's life. The factory has taken something from me which can be never brought back. It makes one hate and question the system. It made me take refuge in a world of sprightly little cartoons and pencil and ink. It has made me what I am today.